Hi everyone, this is Dr. Candace Silvola from Rustic Ranch Remedies. A few weeks ago I showed how to make an oil and water emulsion using lecithin and this video I'm going to show how to make a water and oil emulsion using lecithin. So I have my oil face here and this consists of about 70% of the formula. It is a large part of the formula. And when we make an emulsion, a water and oil emulsion using lecithin, the oil percent is going to be quite large. And then here's my water phase. My oil phase consists of 10% lecithin with 40% butters and 30% of other oils. My water portion is about 30% and it consists of a glycerite, salt, which helps to stabilize a water and oil emulsion, a little bit of aloe juice, and some extracts, some water soluble extracts. And I included allantoin in this along with uh, dragon's blood and some humectant water soluble ingredients. And I also have this small oil soluble cool down phase. So this formula I'm doing today, this is for my daughter. I had, I've gone through just about all of that balm I had made. And um, I kind of go back and forth between doing a completely anhydrous product and a water and oil type of emulsion for her skincare when I do her wound care dressings. And I like the texture to be nice and thick and spreadable. So that way I can spread it on her wound care dressings and then place them on her skin. Um, she has a really rare skin condition called epidermolysis bullosa. She does not make collagen seven correctly and it creates uh, blistering and breakdown of the skin. And this is head to toe inside her mouth, down her esophagus. It, um, it's something she was born with. It's genetic for her. It's a recessive type. I don't have it. I have it in my genetics, but I don't express it myself. EB is a devastating disease. It's known as the worst disease you've never heard of because most even dermatologists have, have never encountered a patient with EB in their entire careers because it's very rare but my daughter is 16 years old and we've been living with this since she's been born and this is just part of our routine. And I just wanna make sure that I'm giving her the best care that I can provide for her. And one of the ways I can do that is by making a really incredible skincare product. And we're just heating up the phases right now to about 70 degrees Celsius. And I'll just speed up this footage right now so you can watch the melting process.
So as you saw, I heated the oil phase and the water phase up to between 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. And then I slowly trickled the water phase into the oil phase and then homogenized it for about two minutes and then continued stirring under a cold water ice bath until it reached about 40 degrees or under. The and then I added the cool down oil phase, which were some oil soluble extracts. They were about 4% of the formula. And then I added the preservative. And then I homogenized again in the cold water bath. And I continued stirring um, until it reached about between uh, 19 to 20 degrees Celsius. I find that that works really well for this particular formula. And with the ratios of butters and oils and then the percentage of oil phase to water phase. So then uh, I poured it in this glass container and I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I'm gonna keep an eye on it over the next few hours to see what happens. Sometimes it likes to separate a little bit um, and then I just stir it together uh, really, really well if that happens and it just seems to come together just fine. Uh, this is the first time I've used a homogenizer with this recipe, so I'm going to find out um, how this behaves in the in the final cool down process of making this water and oil formula using lecithin. If I need to do any additional stirring during this final cool down phase, I will bring it back here and show you what happens. Otherwise, um, this is going in the fridge for overnight and um, you will see it when it comes out of the refrigerator and comes to room temperature tomorrow morning. It's the next day and I left my emulsion in the refrigerator overnight and I've left it on the counter to get to room temperature. So we're gonna check the final consistency. Um, I did not have to do anything with it while it was cooling down. It stayed together perfectly and I think um, homogenizing it made a huge difference in the process. So we can see it's a thick texture and it should feel really rich, which it does. And the glide is so nice on it and it does feel rich and heavy, but that's the purpose of this product is to leave a really nice barrier on the skin to prevent trans epidermal water loss, keep all the moisture and hydration inside the skin, and create a lot of moisturization. It does feel slightly greasy, but um, not in a bad way. Not There's no stick to it. It's not sticky or tacky at all. It's really... Um, smooth and silky, but there you do feel a little bit of greasiness to it. So I'm really pleased with this texture. It's exactly what I was looking for. It's why I had such a large butter percentage in this formula. I wanted something that was um, thick and spreadable. And um, so it, that was exactly what I wanted. And then let's compare that to the oil and water less than um, lotion that I made recently so I can see that uh, looking at the bottle here that there's no separation so that's a good sign that the emulsion hasn't broke it's really great to keep a sample of products that you've made so you can see how they change over time so this was made about a uh, month ago and so you can still see it is a much different uh, texture. It is more watery. It is, and it has that nice slip that um, this emulsion does too. But this one is super light. There's no greasiness, no tackiness. And um, you can see that my left hand is, is shiny and my right hand just looks moisturized. And I can feel a difference in the skin. This feels way more lightweight. 
and this definitely feels rich and heavier but again there's no there's no tackiness or stickiness to it it does feel really nice on the skin so this is how I make my water and oil emulsions using lecithin and you can see lecithin is a very versatile ingredient and it is super natural it's a polysaccharide it works really well with the um, with your skin and um, for my daughter I want to create something as natural and skin like as I possibly can and give her those actives and the barrier protection and moisturization and keeping all that goodness inside her skin without creating dehydration so this product really is a great way for me to get those water soluble actives in a product um, that for me to use on her skin um, where the balm that I had made earlier it just has oil soluble ingredients where this gives a similar texture but I'm able to get water soluble actives in into the product that's it for this video please hit that thumbs up button leave any comments that you have any questions I would really love my channel to grow and if you could share my channel or specific videos with people that you think would be interested in them I'd really appreciate it thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye